Absolutely everybody, 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 absolutely everybody, all the time. What are you doing? Absolutely everything and everybody, all the time and... Knives. No, that one. Knives. You know that one. My ears. You know, you know that one. No. That's... That song no. comes on in the club all the time. I don't know that song. It's one of those songs. You know when you go out to a club and it'll come on, you'll be like, oh yeah, this one, I know this one. And then you never remember it until you're in the club. Absolutely everybody. I have no idea what you're talking Welcome about. Welcome to the video. Hi. And if you want a local vintner. Local vintner. No, that's stupid. Let's start properly. Welcome. We're going to be talking about Pride. Happy Pride. Uh, local Pride has just occurred in yes. Bournemouth. It's called Born Free. Yes. It's been going now for about 15 years. It's mm -hmm. super fresh. They're so kind to us. We've been doing it for like five years, maybe, if you've seen videos of us performing there it's on the channel. It's quite a big deal, really, compared to like other local Pride festivals because we're not quite a city, Bournemouth, but we're, we're a town, but we're more than a town and we've got quite a large um, LGBT community. So it is, when you compare it to other local Pride, it's so quite precious. a large, a large, um, Festival. The gay area of Bournemouth is called the Triangle. They they make it into like a little arena. There's a stage, um, and you know we're always on the main stage. It's so lovely. This and there year are events was... going on in the Bournemouth Gardens as well, which are free to attend. Um, yes. Where we are in the Triangle, that's a ticketed event, um, and we had a little slot on the main stage, which was super cute. God, it was good. So this uh, this whole Pride season, we have been part of a campaign, which you may have seen. Yes. If you are somebody who uses the London Underground, or if you're around in and or, or in and or around Dublin, we were words. we were part of a campaign by Revolut. So thank you to everyone who sent photographs of us on the tube with our little uh, advertising campaign there. It's been so precious. In case you guys don't already know, Revolut are building a global bank and have an awesome, super easy to use free app that allows you to order a free Revolut card and they offer a bunch of really cool features with their cards and with their app. They have just launched a brand new charity feature, which um, if you opt into it, uh, works alongside their spare change feature, which rounds up any transaction you make using their cards. And the money that is rounded up gets put into a little pot. And then with their charity feature, you can donate that money straight away to um, a charity. Mm -hmm. And they are launching at the moment with um, your choice of three charities. They have teamed up with WWF, uh, Save the Children, and the ILGA, which is why they have done this amazing Pride campaign trying to push donations to the ILGA. Um, the ILGA is the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans, Intersex Association, and they work on a global scale fighting for LGBTI rights, and they're such an amazing cause, so we're really, really happy to be a part of this campaign, allowing everybody to be able to donate even just a small amount to charity without really That's the deal, it. is you're donating very, very tiny amounts that you might not even notice after a while. You can do one-off payments, you can do little bits, and that's what we're going to be showing you throughout yes. our Pride vlog is us using the card and we're going to talk about how you can get yourself a free card at the end. So let's just launch into it today. We never rehearse for anything, do we? No. no. Not for, well, not for anything. So we don't do a lot of live singing. Um, I really, really do enjoy it and we always do so for Pride, but we rarely rehearse that much, especially this year. We have had a lot on. Well, but, but we don't have anywhere to really do it. That's yes. also true, but um, we were very gracious to our friends Rupert and Joe, who we met whilst filming. We were very Diamond gracious to them. Grateful. Oh, to you them. said gracious. I meant grateful. All right. Um, as they managed to um, put some time aside out of their diaries to lend us an ear and give us some feedback. And they actually had some theatre space booked out for a performance they were organising that we managed to hijack. For a couple of days. We just barged our way in and we said, listen, we won that episode of Come Dine With Me. You need to let us use your microphones, please. S or something along those lines. So we'll show you some footage of us rehearsing. Uh, I think it was, it went really well overall. The sound, we were used to kind of, um, the kind of the mic levels and stuff. It was just kind of an easier experience um, because of the, the fact that Joe and Rupert allows us, allowed us to use the theatre. So, and they gave us some feedback and some advice. And <clears> the, <throat> the main thing that they did was suggest that we actually sang all of the songs together because we don't normally do. Which we that. never do. That was so stupid. So it was a little bit last minute having to learn some extra lyrics and kind of blend all of that together. But I think it came across really well. We really enjoyed our day. We're here. We are doing some prep. 
rehearsal for mm. what is it, Nova? For what's well, Pride Weekend. <laughs> It's Pride Weekend. So we're here with um, Joe and Rupert that we met on Come Down With Me. Oh, hello, Joe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and they just... very kindly lent us their ear and their <sighs> stage theatre. So we're going to go through some songs. What songs are we doing? We're going to be doing... Well, that's going to be a surprise. But we are going to do our own original song, as well as a Jeffree Star number. So when people watch this, they will know what we've done. So it won't be a surprise. <laughs> what? When people see this, they will know what we have done. So oh, well, not necessarily. Say, oh. Not necessarily. People might be watching this and they weren't no actually there. No one cares for these shoes. Don't look at them. God, embarrassing. So, Joe and Rupert are setting up for a performance extravaganza tomorrow. Um, and we've just hijacked their setup momentarily today. But very, very kind of them. I've got the world's worst hay fever today. And so, I'm just hoping... Look at my eye, look at this. I'm going all Kate Winslet. I'm hoping that tomorrow will be okay. I'm going to medicate myself today so that the makeup doesn't run. Mind you, it's going to be very sweaty. Yeah, I think it is. It might just run anyway. We'll see what happens. We're going to pocket the tissue. You should come on stage during the intro. Yes, yes, you should. I'm going to break your heart and get away with murder. You should have known from the start that it wouldn't last forever, ever, murder. I fucked my right up, didn't I? Like a part of me is dead, I should say to you. Gotta just feel so. It just feels so. <laughs> really nice, I love that little bit. How does it feel? Um, Rupert's suggestion, nice. go back to back in the bit where the beat drops out, uh, the guitar drops out. Oh, the... Yeah. Back towards the end. Yes. Towards yeah. the end, yeah. yeah. So Just do yeah. a bit of a back to back. I watch this while this dreams come true. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice. Oh, alright, it's just prop me up there. <laughs> <laughs> cool, great. The seat is full of old days. I hope it's a good one. In the mood to do your dick and stuff, catch it in my dick and stuff, make it run your ass right, come out in your dick and stuff, fend for help, go get an adult, it's time to hate you because you're going to come. Won't you be my boss, won't ever be part of your world, you don't have a choice, my touch is gone, I'm turning to gold. Easy to chase, get in, you can see it, 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 Saturday, which means it's Pride Day, and just woken up, about to shave and get into drag. So we got ready perfectly on time, which we never Can ever you do. <laughs> and um, Misha is now very kindly driving us to the Triangle, um, and I think we're actually making good time. We might actually be there 
correct this never happens. We usually perform um, one o'clock-ish on the main stage. This year we were going on after Shah and Ruji, who had already started their Pride experience the day before when they were featured on BBC One South Today News. Yes. Gonna show you a clip <sighs> from that. Well, basically, they were asked if one of them could paint the lady's face and one of them could answer a question. Ruji barged in and said, I'm gonna paint the face. You're gonna answer the question, Shah. Cause I don't, wanna, I don't wanna look like a dick on TV. So this is what happened. So let's join Caroline Lewis, who's in Bournemouth's Triangle for us tonight. Caroline, there's a huge amount of activity going on down here. <laughs> and somebody who's gonna be bringing a little bit of color to this year's Pride is the beautiful Charmaine. Now Charmaine, you're gonna be in tomorrow's parade and you'll be performing tomorrow. So what, what does Pride really mean to you? Why do we keep doing it? Pride is all about being yourself regardless. Yeah. And so... Do you know, it's fabulous. There's so many people here tonight and it's only gonna get bigger and better tomorrow. People of all ages, everything. It's, it's great to see it, it really is. Yeah. And what are you gonna be doing tomorrow in the program? Um, we'll be on the parade. Um, uh, Ruji and I work at DYMK in Bournemouth, so we'll be on the float. I don't know if it's the fact that Shah was offered a real microphone and she decided to use an inflatable one, or that she said it's about being, being yourself, yourself regardless. regardless. Pride is about being yourself regardless. I mean, did you, well, it has to be. Like, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It has to be regardless because look how she looked. She looked so bad. And she had, when we saw her on the day we performed, she ran up to us. They were late, first of all. We were there way before they You're were. You're supposed to arrive 30 minutes backstage prior to your time slot. We were there perfectly on time. Perfectly on time. Um, they were supposed to be on 15 minutes before us and weren't there yet. And eventually Ruja came and then Shah followed. Shah was absolutely wasted already. She was so drunk and she'd only been on the bus, like the parade bus. I don't Which know. is like an hour or something maybe. I don't and she know was what wasted. So here's some clippets of their performance. Well, don't worry, we didn't go to bed till four, so we're a little bit tired, so be nice. And I've dropped my body weight in alcohol already. Ready. And if my manager for watching, no I didn't. I'll be at work for seven, I promise. Don't worry, we're not gonna sing live. We're from DYNK with these new queens that everyone hates that just move our mouths to the beat. That's alright, it's November afterwards, sorry about that. <laughs> Go on, Shah. He played house with ratchet dolls. It's not Santa Claus, it's time for applause. It's coming out the closet. And how do you know I'm not married with a wife and kids? Well, are you? Who do you, me do, Mary do, no do. I like boys, I like pets. Like them arms with no flex. Like that girl in the Don't turn away from the heart of the proof. From the way that we move. Kill the lights we can Um, came on at the end together with seemingly all of the staff of DYMK and the drag queen it was host a lot, yes. Lucinda and the organizer Louise were having a shit fit because they didn't consider that so many people were gonna like bum rush the stage and they were just like, well, uh, there goes the elf and fucking safety. <laughs> so funny anyway so our set was what did we do Nova we did a couple songs so we did four songs we did Get Away With Murder by Jeffree Star it's a jam Misery Business by Paramore Banger. our own original single Legendary Creature which is coming oh, soon shit. I promise you I know we've said that a lot but it is coming soon as well as um, Larger Than Life by the Backstreet, Backstreet Boys. Boys. So I wore a lovely, people said lovely was the word of the day that people said to me. Uh, it was a tattoo print bodysuit moment from Dolls Kill. Um, it was in the sale, yes, but that should not be uh, anything we need to talk about. I think it looked really nice, actually. It did look nice. And I got some boots as well. They were Club X harness boots. They were really, really chunky, like platforms. They look really high, but they're actually quite shallow. Great for walking around in the really day. Really ready Top for tip. those, saying they were your comfy shoes. Well, no, she, she did a bit. How shallow they were. No, she was more jealous because she asked me for a link to them, which I have not sent her yet. Oh, right, okay. She actually wanted them because she's also got huge feet. Yeah. Well, much bigger than my feet. Her feet are a lot bigger than mine. Thank wow. you. Thank you very much, yes. I wore what we have been lovingly referring to as the AliExpress nightmare. 
Um, it was a three-piece sequined dance costume from AliExpress. So if you don't know, it's kind of like an Asian online marketplace. So shit takes a long time to arrive and the sizing is very, very small. So I just And no this. time to fall apart. <laughs> I ordered this in an extra large um, and it was a jacket which fit fine, a top which was a bit tight but fit fine and some shorts. And the shorts fit but as a drag queen, I have certain things I want to like cover up, my pads, some undergarments, and it, there wasn't enough coverage for myself. So I very last minute bought some similar sequin fabric and had a go at recreating these shorts on they a certain machine. They were fine. Machine. Yeah, they wouldn't win any awards, but they held together for the day. The structure of them was okay, but the, the sequin did not match very well, and Shah literally stormed up to her first thing, was just like, those pants don't match. Oh. I think it was fine. Oh. It's been a long time since I've been on a set machine. Anyway, but um, our friend Misha very kindly filmed the entire set. So if you've not seen it already, you can click here and watch that. <laughs> We went to flirt after this. So after we perform, we like to hang around for a bit, you know, yeah. to have a nice glass of wine, really soak in the vibe. Flirt is a really cool cafe in the heart of the triangle. I think they actually sponsored the main stage this year. I think they have done a couple of times. The flirt main stage. And uh, we just popped in for a drink and to say hello to the staff there and also to meet um, my friend and massage therapist, Laura. Masseuse. Um, and she, massage therapist. Is a masseuse? No. There's a difference, I've been told by her. Oh, she's more she's, qualified. She's a little masseuse. Scottish fireball and she'll shout at me for saying that. What's a masseuse then? All right, a masseuse just kind of like does this and a massage therapist knows about your muscles and your joints. Well, I think that's I probably road to masseuses. It's, a, it's a, not exactly a gay venue, but they have like drag shows there occasionally. Oh. They're very sort of um, supportive of Pride and the Triangle generally. Um, they, it's so quirky, they've got like Dolls hanging from the ceiling yeah, and stuff. They've got one of those really cool shop fronts where it's made out of those like giant oh, reflective you know, are they? moving Sequined things. things. Thing. So it looks like Payettes. It's... Yeah, that's I don't weird. know. Um, but we went in there with Shah and Felicity, so take a look. So we're in the flirt, which is a cafe bar moment. Who is this behind the bar? Who is this? Apparently someone's behind the bar, but I don't know who it is. Oh, I see. Hi, Shah. So, Bonjour, salut. Shah, how was our performance, Shah? How was our performance? Oh, God, it was bad. Well, Shah, you're supposed to say what? Oh, no, that was, no, it was. No, actually, do you know what? After about five or six years of trying, you've actually nailed it this year, guys. I'm really proud of you. I couldn't be more proud. Couldn't be more proud. Congratulations. It was a good thing. It was a compliment. Oh, they're having a the bar name. Guys. No, Nova, don't hit her. Nova, don't hit her. Please, not again. Not with a frying pan. I can take over me if you want. No, it's all right. I've got to order my wine and I'm fuming. 
I'll just do it myself. Yeah. I shouldn't buy Charmaine a drink either. Hey, no, no. So it's a lovely temperate climate today. There's a breeze coming through, which is lovely. Why are you fighting so much then? Because we're inside. Hey. Yeah. Shut up. It didn't look really bad, really bad. Not at all. It's pretty bad. Not at all. <laughs> Good word, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that the only thing on the way? Um, yeah, kind of, yeah. Damn. Damn. Um, your face is so Mrs. Puff. What are you having, Sean? No. Yeah. Oh, we'll cut that. We'll cut that. Um, just to bug my coat, please. Ask me if I want a single or a double. Would you like a single or a double? Just a single, please. Have you seen us on the tube? No, I've not seen that. No. Because you never got to London because you've got no business on. No, I've got no money. <laughs> So we just want to say thank you to everyone who came up to us and asked for photographs. Some of the patrons. This is a shout out to you, Sam, for keeping our drinks oh, full. Yeah. Our thank glasses you, Sam, were always you. full, Sam. You're so precious. Thank you for that. I just wanted um, to say as well, if you guys ever get a chance to see us in person, please come up to us and say hello. We're, we're, we're not going to bite you. We, we love taking pictures of people and we love to meet you guys. So don't be scared because I know a, a couple of you guys um, during Pride seemed absolutely terrified. Um, but secretly some, wanted to say yes, hello. So some people did, <laughs> did run away in fear. We are, I know we are large, but I can always break the tension by just gently squeezing your butt butt. If you'd like that, that's harassing. We can arrange it yes. beforehand. We can discuss it if you'd like it. The jeer to butt, something like that would be nice no. to do. I think it'd be really lovely, actually. No. Oh yes, hello. Having some drinks in the afternoon, which is what ladies do. We stuck around for a while. We got some um, some wine, lots of wine in the sun, day wine in the sun. I don't drink wine. Um, yeah, I felt sick as a parrot. But anyway, we we went home because Nova's feet were hurting. Mm -hmm. Usually, it's my feet that were hurting, but I took. We stayed for a while though. We stayed for a few hours. Yeah, girl, I always love you, no matter who you are, dear. Let's see what you have. Go. because I'm in pain, my feet hurt. We've been here for a good few hours now. Had a few drinks, it was really, really fun, saw lots of people. And now I'm gonna head home, take this off, have something to eat, get into boy drag, and head out to the club, which will be super fun. It was so nice to just rip it off, get in the shower, and just, you know, when you get in the shower, and you sort of do this, because it's nice to sort of feel the breeze amongst yourself. <laughs> Okay, and then, what do we do then? Well, we went out. We like to go out of an evening, didn't we? Yes, so we first of all went to a bar called The Four Horsemen where our friend Rosie works I behind the bar. Babe. I love it, And uh, She looked gorgeous, the music was really fun. Uh, we met up with a few people there, had a really good time. I love it in there. It's a small venue. I think a lot of people are maybe not as aware of it, so it's kind of like a hidden gem. Mm. Yes, hello. Do you have any good times tonight? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, All the orders. Madam. Madam. Oh. Getting close, isn't it? Getting close. Getting a double spice on the coat. Look, there's Rosie. Look, there she is. Yay! Oh, love her. Oh, um whereas 
most people just flock to DYMK, which is Shah's bar, which we went to afterwards. She was constantly sniffing her armpits all night because she's so dreadful. She also, she always fucks up my order. I always ask her. We go to her specifically because she'll like spot us out and she'll like get us drinks. It's nice. And I always say to her, I have a double vodka lemonade, no ice. I don't like the ice. It makes my apple lip chilly. It goes all slushy. I have to have ice. I don't like it. I prefer to cool. feel it, to taste it. And it tastes like alcohol. Like I like that. And she always makes fun of it. She's like, yeah, no ice, yeah, yeah, whatever. And she goes away and she'll bring it back to me with the ice in it. And I'll be like, no, ice shot. And she just sort of looks at me as if it's my fault that she's fucked up my work. Cause she's so talentless. You headed home a bit earlier than everyone else because you just haven't got the stamina. That was boring. You bored me. I don't think that's right. You have to keep me entertained. I thought you were very dry towards the end. And I thought, no, I'm going to go get some chips. Right. Which were lovely. So throughout our weekend, we were using our Revolut rainbow cards with the spare change feature enabled, donating to the ILGA with their charity feature. And throughout the, I think it was just Friday and Saturday, this totals from, we almost raised about, was it about 10 euros? Which I think just for a passive donation is pretty good. Cause I didn't even realize that we were donating that. I was only looking at the total afterwards. So I think it's really cool um, to have one in the background and know that you're making small micro donations. Little bits. And then you can see how much it adds up without having to feel like I've just donated 10 euros. Cause that can be quite a and lot. We use our cards a lot as well, didn't we? So donating a, a large amount in one go can seem a bit kind of just like a frightening. Maybe you don't want to do it. You're not very good with your finances, whatever, but it's that little thing under sort of the bubbling away underneath, yeah. you know, it's kind of doing, it's going somewhere. It's nice. You don't even notice it. So it was about 10 euros and it was over two sort of days is the, the, the time frame that we kind of like watched it. This was our first time using this. So we just had the multiplier feature at one, but if you do want to donate a little bit extra, you can actually multiply your donation um, by a few different amounts. So if you want to donate a little bit more, you can do oh, that do whatever well. you like. I think we'll keep this um, active for a little while because it's just, I've not even noticed the difference and it's nice to know that you're donating. And they... it's really cool as well because you can see in the donation tab on the app, the overall total that all the users have raised. To the charity, yes. That you're actually contributing to this overall total and that's really cool to feel like you're a part of that. Also the WWF is nothing to do with wrestlers. No, it's, it's to do with pandas. Yeah. Quite different. Yeah. Um, they've got a limited number of the rainbow cards. So if you're quick, you might be able to get one. We put the link in the description. Yes. Yeah. Um, and they are free to get. Just go and click on it. Just get yourself one. And you can be sort of trendy about town. Trendy lady. It is quite cool to be flashing with like rainbow cards. There's that one chick in the bar, wasn't there? And she complimented you. Yeah. You know? She's that. like, I love your card. I was like, oh, thanks. Also, we didn't even ask her to say that. <laughs> Okay, guys. Well, I hope everyone has had a lovely Pride season. If you're yet to have your Pride, then yes, have a safe, please, happy, lovely Pride. Please enjoy yourselves. Um, if you guys missed out on seeing us at Bournemouth Pride, our next kind of venture out into the world will be at Drag World in Yay! August at Olympia in London. So in we'll Olympia. Be there. Right. We'll be there all weekend. Um, please come find us and say hi. We'd love to see you. Love to see you. Um, love to squeeze your butt. You Let's jeered about this. This is hashtag me too. Yeah, but but I don't make it about that. Well, I mean, you ruined it now. Could have been right. a really sweet moment. No. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and there'll be a message after that joining the Patron. Oh, thanks, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye then. Bye. And a welcome bitch tits to our newest patrons: David Tiskland, Peter J, Trevor A Fry, Chloe Garrard, and Dan Thomas. Join the cult at Patreon.com/slash Novimpia.